Miss Peaches, and you're watching live with Miss Peaches. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, I tell you, Christmas is over. Hallelujah. The trees are up. The stockings are packed away. New Year's has come and gone. All <laughs> the Zion and all acquaintance has been forgot. <laughs> Thank God, especially that mean old Mr. Man down with the VFW. <laughs> Oh, but anyway, I am so excited about this new year. Miss Peaches has made her resolutions, broke half of them already, <laughs> but she's excited. But I have to be honest. Now, it is unseasonably cold down south. Lord, we have got temperatures in the single digits. We've had snow. We have had ice, and Miss Peaches has took to the blues, and she is all down and out. Oh, couldn't get out of bed. I decided it was time for Miss Peaches to make something that reminded her of a warmer, happier time. I'm telling you, tell you, it is no secret, Miss Peaches loves her southern fried chicken. Mashed potatoes and rub. <laughs> Some homemade cobbler. But she loves cuisine from all around the world. She does, and one of her favorites is Mediterranean cuisine. She goes there every year, northern part of Spain, down the southern part of France, and over into Italy. So today, I'm going to make something, one of my favorite appetizers I have in France. Hence, my barrette. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Biette. Now, down south, we'd call it roulette or something like that. Roulette is what it's called. And you're going to say, Miss Peaches, what the heck is that? Well, it's an appetizer made from meat. Much like pate, okay? Traditionally pork, but you can make it out of lamb, duck, uh, rabbit. But today, Miss Peaches is going to make it out of chicken. Oh, it's so good. Mm. <laughs> You're going to say, what do I need? Well, I'm going to take what well, I'm not going to tell you because it's way too much. It's right here, okay? i got to plow through this stuff. First and foremost, you need one whole chicken. About four to five pounds. I washed it up, dried it off, put it right here in my casserole, and I rubbed it with olive oil, a little bit of butter, salt, pepper, lime, and lemon juice, and I put in my little trusty little blend. I love my little handy tiny one. I went to my garden. I picked fresh rosemary, fresh sage, fresh oregano, uh, fresh parsley, fresh thyme, and I chopped all of that up right here, and then I did a dry rub on top of my chicken. And I also put a little bit of chicken broth down in there, okay? Then I put it into the oven, which I had preheated at 400 degrees, and I roasted that for one hour. That's right, one hour. Occasionally, I would baste the chicken. Now, here's a tip for you. White meat, I breast. <clears throat> Sometimes it will dry. <laughs> dry than the brown, the dark meat. So what you want to do, you want to cook your chicken with the breast down to the juice. <laughs> Most of the time, last 15, 20 minutes or so, flip your chicken and let the breast uh, brown up and crust <laughs> over whatever. <laughs> okay, after an hour, Miss Peaches pulled it out, drained off just a little bit of the fat that was in there, and she quartered her chicken. It is so much easier to do it when it's cooked, you know. So I quartered the chicken. I put it back in there. What did I do after that? In my little whoppa chopper. <laughs> I put a medium onion, six, seven cloves of garlic, and I put some mushrooms. And I chopped that up and I put that back into here. I added eight ounces of white wine, only for cooking, of course. <laughs> And I put the rest of that can of the chicken broth in there. And I covered it up. I brought it to a, a very light bowl. And then I put it down on simmer. And I simmered that for two hours. The reason is, with Riet, you need that to be tender. Because you're going to pull, you're going to shred that chicken. You're going to shred it apart, shred it apart. Oh, <laughs> it needs to suck up the juices. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so excited to see what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, so after two hours, I pulled my chicken out. I pulled it off the bone. It fell apart. I put that in a bowl. I drained my juice, got all the bones out of it, and I took my onions and my mushrooms and my garlic and I mixed it in with my shredded chicken. I just mixed it up with my hands, got it all nice and 
Well, torn apart. Ooh. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you something that I do. I say sin because I wanted some for tonight. I'm going to have that later on for dinner. But I can some. Miss Peaches is going to teach you how to do easy and can. My mom taught me years ago, honey, and it was true and it was fail safe. What you do, you wash your jaws. While they're wet, you put them in the microwave for two to three, four minutes. That sterilizes them and it makes them hot. Meanwhile, on the stove, you have boiled your rings and your lid. You brought them to a boil. Now, what I did with my rillette, the meat and the onions, I packed them down in the jar. I packed them. Tight, tight, tight. <laughs> anyway, I did that, but I left about that much at the top. I took my reserve juice and I poured it on top. The reason it is, when that cools, you're going to put that in the refrigerator, but when it cools off, it's going to congeal. And that is very important because it seals in the juices. It keeps everything moist. Oh, and you're going to serve at room temperature, so you can take that off when you serve it, okay? <laughs> so anyway, you take the meat, you pack it into your jars, then you take your lids and your rings, you put that on there with a pair of tongs, you screw it down, when it cools, it's sealed and it's canned. And it's that easy. Oh, how do you serve it? Well, I'm going to tell you. I have a little bowl right here that I've been snacking on and I'm spreading it on some, some oh, delicious fresh French toast, some crispy toast. Have a little bit of red wine to go with it. It is absolutely delicious. <laughs> y'all, I am so sorry I plowed through this, but I really wanted to share a recipe with y'all. Thank y'all so much. You tune in for our next show. I won't be so rushed, okay? <laughs> Doodoo!